The technology nowadays allows us to do genetic testing on embryos. While it is not recommended that all embryos undergo genetic testing, it is an option for patients. Genetic testing should be done in cases where there is definitely a need for genetic testing, such as patients who have a genetic disorder, such as congenital adrenal hyperplasia, for example, which is a disorder where two members of the couple, so the wife and the husband, for example, have to have the same genetic mutation. In their case, they would have a 25% chance of having a baby with an affected disorder. So genetic testing can be done on the embryos ahead of time to choose the embryos that are affected with that disorder so that future generations do not suffer from those, those diseases. So genetic testing is really indicated in those cases. Otherwise, you can actually check genetics on embryos for patients with recurrent pregnancy loss or patients who are older who you want to check if the embryos have Down syndrome or other chromosomal abnormalities. The genetic testing can be done at two different time points at this point, either on day three when the embryo is three days old or on day five when the embryo is at the blastocyst stage. The newer studies are showing that day five embryos, if you biopsy them then, there's less harm to the embryos. However, there's no good long-term studies at this point. So genetic testing should only be done for specific patients and should not be offered to everyone at this time.